All right, so what's going on, guys? This is Quasi, Quasi Medium, Quasi Animation. All right, now we're going to deal with Human Generator as we have done before in the past. We're going to do a Mel. I am going to make him whatever I choose. Here we are. Generate human. The point here is to show you how to use real quick weird sound. Okay, so because I was adjusting the microphone, I'm not going to adjust his height, his scale, or nothing. I'm just going to use him as he is. So we go to the next thing. This is Human Generator version three. So there's been a lot of improvements and changes. So right now, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to do any particular changes. I'm going to add, uh, what's that called? I'm going to add some clothes to him or whatever. Uh, I'm going to add a hairstyle. Probably just going to go with something short. So let's go with something short. Let's see what we got here. Uh, don't like those. I'm going to go regular. All right, yeah. So I'll go with the flat top. All right. Okay, so we got the flat top. I had to turn it off because don't need the music playing twice, right? All right. So we got the flat top on them. Uh, come back up to eyebrows. I'm gonna just pick some like other ones other than the ones that are showing All right, cool All righty, go to ski and I'm gonna turn on the um, Scat uh, I'm sorry subsurface scattering and then we have the hair in there. I'm gonna go and turn the hair off And I'm gonna click final so I'm gonna go to the product. I might I may get an error just I kind of like deal with it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I may not. It just depends. Right now, it is thinking. It's setting up the particle system for the hair. So now the hair is back on. I'm gonna turn it back off. I'm gonna go to clothing. I'm gonna go to casual. I'm gonna pick the first one for casual weekend. All right. Now, this is just the clothes that are there, right? So I'm just showing you that they're already there. These are the ones that come with it, so it's automatic, it's gonna be automatic. So we're gonna get rid of those, we're gonna delete those, we're gonna delete clothing, and it's gonna take us back to the human. The point here is to use the clothing library clothes to make an adjustment. So in this case, I'm gonna go back to casual because I'm gonna keep his pants. I'm just gonna delete his shirt. I'm gonna add a shirt. So here we go. Uh, because I don't want to deal with the pants or whatever in the cloth, the cloth library. Go to the cloth library. It's under me and cloth. And then I'm gonna pick a shirt. And let's say, uh, let's go with the male shirt or whatever it is. Click add to scene. Wait for it to process because basically what it's doing, even though it says pre-made, it's still simulating it um, in the background via the Python script. So the Python script is sculpting it, and then it'll set it up. It's set. I'm going to change its location so make sure that uh, it's at least somewhere centered to the character all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit seven go above because now i'm going to go into sculpt mode and i'm going to click the on in sculpt mode on the side menu i'm going to go to pose <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. I'm hit f and stretch it out because what i want to do is grab it it's going to give you two points as you see and those two points are going to allow you to bend it yeah, so you can see I'm bending it. All right. So I want it to be, I'm going to make it really big because I need it to stretch way further than what it's stretching. All right. Okay, here we go. Because I need it to bend at the, at the elbow, not at the wrist. Okay, so it's mirrored automatically. So now I'm going to go over here to the elastic deform, not the grab. Okay. And I'm going to reduce it. It's already mirroring. So now I'm just going to set it up and just get it adjusted to the hand and i mean get it just to the body oh wrong place you know, set it up because we just want to make sure that it's, it's covering the clothing i mean the clothing is co covering the body and uh anytime you want to adjust the uh the actual select the uh, thing that's selecting everything just hit f and then it'll stretch in and out but understand if you do it too far out it's going to grab almost everything like in close proxy because it, that's how it tends to work. I don't know why they did that instead of it just covering the parts that you select yourself. So, yeah. So you may move something and then have to move it again because it's too big or too wide. Meaning the selector, not the clothing. All right. Let me get this adjusted. All right, I think I'm close to what I want. All right, push this 
Dale song, which they still do it for, right? Okay, cool. All righty then. All right, now it's selected. Keep that part selected, and we're gonna we're going to shift select and or control select in the outliner. When you control select in the outliner, it selects the item as the main item. But if you shift select in the viewport, it'll select that as the main item. And then we're gonna hit control P and going to go object keep transform. All right, now select the shirt again. We're gonna go into back to a uh, human generator and we're gonna go to the cogs, which is the UI tab. You can go to mesh clothing, click mesh into clothing, and it's gonna ask you if this is what you wanna do, say yes. And it's gonna automatically select the armature and then just go to next. It's gonna ask you, is this the right position? You say yes. Then it's gonna ask you if you wanna do a mask. The mask is basically going to define the areas that are behind the clothing. Like if I go, yeah, long arms and I hit mask, it's going to cut off almost right above his chest. Just don't do it. Just leave it like it is. Just leave it like it is, don't touch anything. Like I can go arms short and click it and it'll still do the same thing because it's gonna cut it off at the chest. So it's, you're gonna see an open space underneath the shirt. So we just hit next. It's gonna ask you again if you wanna do a default material for this. I'm not gonna do it, I'm just gonna hit next. This is a top, so we're gonna to hit top and we're gonna generate corrective shape keys. So it's gonna fix the shape keys to the body. Even though, because there are two different meshes, it's going to make the adjustments accordingly. And you just wait for that to load up. All right, so now it's done. Corrective shape keys are set up. And then go hit next, and then it'll just say finish. So now it's already set. So now when I, once I go in and I say I, I select the bones, and I go to pose mode, and I just select this arm, RR, and I can rotate, and you see that they're not locked together, right? Okay, so that's mostly because now I have to go in and hit Control P, and then hit automatic weights. Because all it did was all it did was add the shape keys. It didn't add the, the weights, which it should have because it didn't ask me to add the weights. Even though last time it add, asked me to add the weights, and this time it didn't. So it should, if it doesn't ask you to add the weights, then you, you, you're probably in a bad space. So it didn't ask me to add them, so I'm adding them by using Blender's default uh, parenting system. But it should ask you to add the weights. And what I'll do is, uh, even though it just did it, because now when I come over and click the shirt, and I go over to uh, vertex groups is showing all the vertex groups because now it added the weights okay now the thing is is if it added the weights well so let's check to see if it moves this time if it goes with it yeah but it's deforming weird at the shoulder so that means the weights are not exact so i want to fix that so personally i'm going to go in and i'm going to delete all of the shape keys delete all the shape keys and all of the vertex groups i'm going to go back in the mesh again i know it's going to tell me i already did it but like Yes, yes, next, next, next. Add generate uh, shape keys for the top. Cause I wanna see if it's gonna ask me. It didn't, it did last time I did this, but this time for some reason it decided not to ask me. I don't know why sometimes things act like that, but it should ask you if you wanna add the actual, uh, generate the weights, okay. This is corrective shape keys file. Go to click next. Now it's asking me to add the weights instead of saying finish. Now I'm gonna hit automatic weight paint and that should fix the problem because it didn't say that a second ago. Now I hit finish and close this menu. All right, now go to the body, click it and it should work. There it is, there she go. <laughs> she looking swifty now. All right, so yeah, there it is. So now the weights are right. Now I know you might say, well, <laughs> excuse me the fabric looks a little like weird that's only because it is in solid mode okay <laughs> so when you're doing this in shaded mode it won't look like that all right so i'm gonna go into shaded mode just for the gp because i didn't look at the character we just loaded them up right just load them up so now when you bring in that cloth from the cloth the cloth library is going to be in its own collection or it may be below the human generated character just drag and drop it into uh, the human generator. Just drag and drop it and it falls in there. All right, so there's the guy. Uh, let's see what we get when we turn this club. We'll go back to the thing. I'm gonna turn on his hair. 
All right, cool. There we go. All right, yeah. Oh yeah, he he's got that '80s look going on. Let's drop some shoes on that kid, man. Get him some of those leather sneakers. I don't know where he's sneaking to, but he's sneaking somewhere. All right. And boom, that's a shirt that does not that is not in in the default what you call them, but now in the default make human. But yeah, we got a decent pair of jeans that fit well what I have in the fight. Everything is in order. There we go. So I'm gonna go to his hair real quick because I want to change this material. It's too bright. I don't like that shininess. Hair don't shine that bright. All right. There we go. Boom. Looking swift, baby. All right. So yeah. And ta-da. There you go. So with that being said, man, uh, subscribe, hit that like button. And of course, share this with someone that's been using this program that ran into this problem. I talked to the creator and this was the resolve and a couple of guys that uh, no, a guy that's in the actual server or the discord server gave me the solution and showed me how to do it because at first it didn't work that way. You have to go in and pair it, parent it as an object before you can use the actual cloth mesh, uh, mesh generator because they changed the way they did it. I don't know why, but they did. So he changed the AI, I mean the UI on it. So yeah, with that being said, number love, I'll let y'all later.